Tamsin Waterhouse learned to fly and to love flying as a child. When she was in grad school, she wasn't able to continue, largely for financial reasons, because flying can be expensive. When she entered the workforce, she wanted to start flying again. To do that, she had to get an airman's medical certificate renewed. Well, this turned out to be a problem since she was in transition from male to female. The FAA demanded a battery of psychological tests before they would even consider passing her. And even then, as she points out, she would have been subject to annual renewals at the FAA's discretion. This was based, as one of her attorneys mentioned, on an outdated stereotype of transgender individuals that looked at transgenders as being psychologically unsound. She fought it. And she had help from the Transgender Law Center and her congressman and some other congressmen. The FAA has now changed the rules, but it took years, and the change isn't perfect. Nevertheless, it is still change. As the article says, the change reflects a growing trend in government and the courts to eliminate discrimination against those who are lesbian, bisexual, gay, and transgender. It's about time. I urge you to go to the article in the link. There is a video of Tamsin herself there, which is well worth watching. Thanks for listening. And excuse me if this is a little hard to understand. I bit my tongue. Don't ask how. Anyway, thanks again. Bye.